Wahoo! Wait, that's Mario. That is not my intro. My intro is Squaw! What's going on, guys? Alright, so we're back here for another Watch Dogs 2. <clears throat> now, I was in between episodes just now, and I was going through doing the missions of the paintings and basically just going around. I'm at one right now. And get a little sneak peek. Or is it not here anymore? I don't know. So basically what happened was is they ended up making up a new mission for the final mission, I'm assuming, for the paint job. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to it, but guess it where it's at. All the way over to here. It's the Golden Gate Bridge, if you didn't know. So basically we're going to go here. Because this is going to be the fastest point to the Golden Gate Bridge. And will make it the travel so much easier. And we'll get a car because I can't wait for now. Actually, we can just take cars now because of how we got that silent alarm. Strugonski thingamabobber. Alright, we're going to take this. We're going to take a Prius. Hmm, a Prius doesn't drift very well. Or at least not in this car. Not in this. There we go. We can force it to drift. We will make it drift. It will drift. Uh. So now we're going to go all the way down to the Golden Gate Bridge. And I thought I would record this part because it did seem quite important. It was the last mission. But the other ones were just tedious. Basically, you just go around, find out how to get to the point, hit E for the graffiti. You graffiti the wall, and that's it. But now that we're actually getting some sort of like, Satara came over and was like, hey, let's go to the Golden Gate Bridge. And I was like, hey, I'm down. And she was like, all right, I'll meet you there. I was like, all right, I'll meet you there too. And then she was like, all right, I'll meet you there. And I was like, fine, just get there. And all of a sudden we're coming. And now we're about to do something crazy, I'm assuming, because imagine this huge staple called the Golden Gate Bridge and we're in a graffiti mission now. Quite interesting, to say the least. I'm gonna get off the road real quick. I don't want to like be in anybody's way or nothing. Start the mission and see what happens. Oh wow! So we have to tag the Golden Gate Bridge somehow. Well, let's see if there's anything to do over here. So basically, this is what I've been doing. If you guys. Missed the last episode by any chance. We were doing this mission and we're just basically going around finding different things to basically control, just finding different ways to go up and down different buildings. And we're going to the graffiti points and then we're going to go tag it and then basically just leave. Not much to it, pretty self explanatory. Just graffitiing up the place. And this thing takes forever. The only worst part is we're going to have to follow the whole thing back up. And it's going to take forever again. And now we're on the way back up. But it's okay because that just makes us that much closer to be able to get to the end. Because this will be two. And I'm assuming the other two are over there on that um, point. I don't know what these are called. But the, this big structure over there. I'm pretty much sure that's where we're going to be going, and that's what we're going to have to do. And hop up here. I'm assuming we're going to have to take this ladder. And now we're right here. Yeah, there we go. So now we can do this, pick this up for whatever it is. Oh, I can get some stuff. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting ever so closely to that uh to the quadcopter but the nice thing is which i didn't know you can go to pawn shops and sell valuable items that you might have like i just picked up a smartphone and you can sell them for money i didn't know that but i got like a good amount a couple grand so now we can get a little bit closer and we should be getting the quadcopter soon i believe it's sixty-seven i i'm not sure though so i'm thinking we're like right there but this is intense they're literally doing graffiti on the most iconic place that they're around. And there's two more up there. So actually, I think, yeah, this one will probably be the way up since the kind of control lift 
was stopped. I was accidentally holding down the space bar. That was way too close. Whew. All right. Let's see. Is there anything to control? That's probably what I got to look for since I'm looking down here and there's nothing. That thing? It's so weird because they're so, like, they're so high up. It's like, how do you expect me to be able to find that? I can barely look up the camera in order to actually activate the control button. Like, that's a little excessive. This is why the quadcopter would be so much better. I could just fly it up, get to the height, and then can just control it from there. It was so, that's like, it's, that's like one of the parts that's like a little bit more annoying, I guess. It's like, you can just simply never find it unless you like, unless you know to look up. Because a lot of these missions have been using controlling things. So that'd be this, uh, forklift, which I used earlier in between episodes, and that one thing that I can never remember its name because I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a little cart and then you can raise, it's basically this exact thing except on wheels. Oh my gosh. See like this right here, it's like two inches. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Like you could have done that, Marcus. Jeez. And I love how it says to climb down he literally grabs like one handlebar and just jumps down no matter what the height so far all the ladders that's what he's done I'm like really alright so let's see this one it doesn't look like they have much to paint on because of all those rigid areas like those little triangle poppy out thingies so I'm guessing he's just gonna paint over that and make a cool design with some 3 yard because that's what it's doing it's giving you some depth to your image duh and then it's just flat magic it's magic, guys. Magic. Marcus knows how to make triangles flat. So now I'm guessing... Oh, well, if we just did that one, I'm guessing we have to go over to that one. But see, right there. He just gets down on that one step and just jumps down. Like, what was the point in getting that one step? You might as well just jump down. Like, like, look at this. I can barely look up. There we go. Now I can finally look straight up. And get to this thing and these this is taking forever this is a longer mission because it's like you're climbing this giant bridge with like it's really tall and stuff but look at this view there's so many different things we'll get on to here control it again and have it lift us up it's interesting how every time you control something or do something, he always, like, sits down and pulls out his laptop. Like, I don't know. You can just stand up. I just find it interesting. All right, guys. Jeez. It's probably not that interesting, you guys. You're you guys are probably sitting there like, yeah, what would you do, Josh? Like, what the heck? You're going to stand there with your laptop. You got to place it on something. So he lays and sits down so he can place it on his lap. Duh. And I'm just sitting there like, guys, I know. Jeez. You don't got to tell me. It's joking. God. All right, so he's going to paint another one. My weirdness aside. And then he's going to hopefully build a masterpiece. We zoom out and all the pictures come together ever so perfectly. Unless it's trying to spell something, because this is the first one that I actually read and it said destroy. To be completely honest, I completely forgot what all the other ones said, if they said anything at all. So we're going to go up to this next level, which so far they've all been on the outside. Finally, I was really hoping it wouldn't, like, not work. I don't know. Like, so you know how I was looking up and it says X, but if you look down too far, it doesn't say X anymore. I was really hoping that I didn't look down far enough for it to not say X because this camera angle is very finicky. And so it's like a little difficult to be able to precisely get it. Watch it be too high too. Oh, no, we can get in. And now we raise it all the way back up. And there he goes. He kneels, see? But then he just sits down. Like, why not just sit down right away? Or sit down sometimes and kneel others like make a decision and then we're gonna stop here at the final floor 
And this is really high up. I don't know about you guys. I could never do this. That's too tall. I would never. Oh, I would be so terrified of heights. Wait, hold up. So I go here. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it didn't let me climb it. But yet, around the other side, there's nothing. Jeez, look at this view. You can see everything from here. And this is where he's going to put his final... Uh, what is it called? I have no idea what I was thinking of. You guys wouldn't be able to help me at the comment section because I can't even describe what I'm thinking right now. I can't even remember what I was thinking. Like, it's just gone. The idea is literally just gone. I was thinking something. Like, you know, it's it's the end of something, but they use it in, like, like it's usually associated with, like, some sort of French kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just being weird. Create, destroy, rebuild, dead sec. Interesting. So they're creating their group, destroying out the bad stuff and rebuilding to make everything better. See? I, I, I told you guys. I got you guys. Now I'm hoping the mission's complete, but Satara might say something. We're about to find out. Get the fuck out of here. You tagged the Golden Gate Bridge? It's all over the news. Told you. This is the kind of exposure we really need. The student has become the master. I was always the master. <laughs> I was always the master. Now, that's actually extra weird that now I can't hear Marcus talking anymore. Alright, that backflip was completely unnecessary. I am not climbing this whole thing back down. Hey Marcus, one of our followers swept an email from a home student. Juicy shit, my friend. Stop ignoring my emails. You were there with me. You heard what Cole said. He basically confessed he likes kids. I don't care who his friends are in home. We have to go to the police. Smart man. Go to the police. Get his butt in jail, bruh. Guys, I got a lead on a potential pedophile working for home. For fuck's sake. Big Brother's a sex offender. This is exactly why we went after home. So who is this guy? Cole something or other. I don't have a last name. We probably got an employee list from our home pin. Let's see. Uh-huh. Cole Lang. I'll find him. Get some evidence. See what kind of person home is harboring. Okay, so... I don't know if you guys can hear the audio anymore. Because literally, I don't know what I did in between episodes. I was hoping that like when they were talking like they did just now. I was hoping that if I escaped from it in between episodes... That maybe it might fix it. I it was kind of a stretch, but I tried it, and I think it broke the audio completely because whenever they talk like that, usually I was able to hear Marcus at least. Now I can't even hear him. Whatever he says is also gone. So I gotta read all subtitles. You guys get the lucky side. I hope you guys can still hear it. Hopefully. So we have a high price to pay, always on, or false profits. Now, we just did a side mission, so I'm thinking about going main mission style on here. And we'll go to showing it all on the map. And I'm just going to fast travel because, like I said, I am not climbing all the way back down this entirety of the Golden Gate Bridge. That would take forever. Yeah, I got a slow walk. Y'all got to see me. Y'all got to see me coming in. Y'all got to be like, oh my god, it's Marcus. <sighs> Goes wild. Ah, it's Marcus. Marcus. All right, I'm weird. I get it, guys. Jeez. All right, what you got, Satara? False prophets. That's gonna be interesting. New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown. Annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. The rich people keep throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so in Cornhole, this fake-ass church. What's Cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn dodge. Oh. Still like the trash. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. 
He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, there's got to be another way, all right? He's in town shooting cyber driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. I could go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Siska tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. They're, they're done with that conversation. Okay, okay, we focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center, we just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think he's liking it a little too much now that he gets it. I don't even get it, to be completely honest. Take up a mask and protest your local recruiting center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. There's no more. DanSec will give you the truth. Do what you do. So now we got a Misatara at the New Dawn protest. So if, if they're holding a protest, I'm guessing we're going to get some information on some things having to do with New Dawn. Sure. That's all I got. I'm smart. I connected the dots. So now we're gonna exit out this place. Get out the back room. I wonder if anyone inside this place is wondering like why people are coming out of that back room. Or do they just kinda sit there and just go, nah, it happens. We're gonna drive to this one. What should I take? I don't want to take anything like weird and slow. Because I feel like it's going to take forever if I took something slow. I take your car. I kind of, I kind of want to just, 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 just let me take your car. Okay, bye. They're not going to find me. Even if they were to call the cops, I mean, go right ahead. You're not going to be able to get me. I'm unbeatable. Yeah, that was the word I was going for. Like, she didn't even say what was wrong on the, the 911 call. She was like, come on, come on, just get the uh, police here. And it's like, really? You're, you're, you're not going to tell them, like, hey, someone stole my car. Or, hey, you know, someone threw me out of my car. Assault. Grand Theft Auto. You're not going to tell them, like, what it is. You're just like, hey, I need the police. Like, what if the police are doing something important? And they thought, like, oh, this person isn't that important right now. I mean, imagine. They're just calling and saying they need the police. We don't know what for. They're not going to come to your rescue. I get out free. See? Now, if you just told them, like, hey, there's someone that, the, you know, Grand Theft Auto, assault, and all these other charges that should be charged, they're going to be like, oh, I'll come over right away. It's like the boy who cried wolf. You're calling just to call. They're not going to know what you want for. All that other sort of stuff and stuff. Yeah stuff distracting enough for you you gonna go inside and take a peek or oh, yeah oh, and I wore my church clothes nice. I love how he puts up the mask like while he's outside like someone wouldn't notice and be like hey look this guy's doing something weird Use the jumper to access areas that Marcus can't. That makes complete and total sense. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up 
followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DeadSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. I aim to please. I wonder what people would do if, like, they saw this happening. Like, you see this giant thing just magically. Ooh, I gotta get the access terminal. Oh, no, I have to find the access key. So, yeah, what if, like, what would people do if they saw this just driving around? Like, this tall and everything. Like, wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that, like, wouldn't that get people, like, thinking, like, hey, you know... Something's happening. Something real weird. Like, no. No one's saying anything, doing anything. They're not calling the police. Like, hey, random things, like, driving around. Nope. Not at all. I'm trying to find out if there's anywhere that the jumper can go. Because I'm thinking that vent right there. But it doesn't look like there's, like, an entrance for him. Unless it's this right here. I'm thinking this might be it. I understand I'm entering a restricted area. Because I thought this vent would be able to open, but it's not. It's not possible. Oh, can I do it remotely? Like this? Huh. The poles are on the way. So I'm going to have to use that vent. My thing is... Where's the vent entrance? Like, I gotta find out a way to get in here from the outside. I gotta keep tracking. See if I can mark all the bad guys. See if I can get all the people to see. Or get all the people that I need to see. Where's this entrance, though? Huh. It was downstairs, right? Downstairs. Where am I? I'm... On the same wall. So it should be on this wall, but beneath me. I think. I have no clue what this is. But I think, yeah. Let's pull out Jumpy. Now the only thing is, if I lose him, that's bad. Because if I lose him, I will have to wait for him to recharge and stuff. So that will make it even harder because then I won't have like a little buddy to be able to help me out. I feel like I gotta find out where I'm trying to go for this hack. It says it's that orange thing looks like it's promising. Yes, a vent. I don't like using anything else because the vents... Was this the one I opened maybe? Don't even care. I got it. I literally just saw the computer and clicked on it, and I was hoping that it would be it. Now, I don't have to use this door because I got the access key. So, if I go back here, control this. I think I just ran myself over. I did not run myself over. Are you serious? Why does this thing keep doing this stuff? Just, just lower all the way. Now I gotta get to the other side, go to there, and it's supposedly gonna give me something. I hope. Do 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 do. Can I just use this? I mean, that door opens technically opens. 
I can park it right there in the yellow spot. Perfect. So if I exit out here, it looks like I'm supposed to be doing this. Shut down by CTOS. I don't know what that means. I entered a restricted area. I understand. My thing is, how are they notified by me? Because I don't think they, they definitely didn't see me because I wasn't in here yet. You know? I didn't even come in yet. I don't know. That was weird. I'm going to hook this thing up. I'm not in here. What are you talking about making things worse? If he comes any closer, I'll be able to take him out. He should come closer. He doesn't. He leaves. He's going the other way. I don't think anyone's coming upstairs. They better or not. Because that would make everything so much harder. It's almost there. And I like how the actual, like, noise it's making, the whole download noise, it's getting so much more intense as it's going on. Well, I shocked him. So now I don't really have to worry about anybody. Now I just gotta keep going. Keep going. And it's complete. So now I can just exit out the door, and go back on my little machine, and it was almost like I was never here. I'm gonna lower myself so it makes myself a little bit more maneuverable. And now I just gotta leave by this thingy. And now they'll never catch me. I'm gonna raise myself up as high as I can go. And I'm gonna take this hill on. Yo, imagine this. That would be so sketchy. Seeing how high this thing goes. And then just going up a hill. Oh, that would feel so weird. Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit. They're after his money. Of course they are. This is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Okay, so he'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy! Right. Right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon. I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. Wow, so he did an impersonation of Jimmy Siska just to be able to get what that guy, uh, their original schedule and basically, I guess, mess with it or something like that. So... That seems like an introductory mission, but because this is a main mission, it's going to be lasting a lot longer. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm probably going to end the episode here. Actually, not probably. I am going to end the episode here in this nice high view. And we're going to actually just pick this mission back up in the next episode. What does it have? Oh, it looks like we're halfway. But we're actually not. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more than that. It's kind of like the paint one. It was halfway. Then all of a sudden it went to three quarters. And then there was another one. And I was like, really? So we're going to continue this one in the next episode. See what happens in this Jimmy Siska whole jabacle thing. And probably catch up with the group. But I'm going to leave you guys on a little... I wouldn't say this is a cliffhanger. But it's more like a... Gondola? 
hanger. I really, I just, I, I don't know what to call this thing. The climbacks hanger. So the news caught frame of my, uh, my little interesting, uh, thingy robber. But, like I said, the news always interrupts me whenever I'm trying to end the episode. Always interrupts me without failure. But we're going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to continue on with this episode and hopefully be able to find out what's happening in that church and hopefully stop if it stop it if it's bad. And I'll see you guys later.